What's going on, everybody? Same clothes, same day, 30 seconds apart in these videos for this week. Um, all right, so I wanna talk about the new Tundra. And I talked last week, if you haven't seen that video, go back and check out that video, but I, but I talked last week about how turbos will go out. It's, it's not an if thing, it's a when thing. And a lot of people wanted to compare, oh, look at diesels, they go forever. And I will tell you this, <clears throat> My buddy has a diesel, turbo diesel, that he had to rebuild his turbos. Luckily, he's a good enough mechanic. He can do it himself and didn't have to pay somebody to do it. <clears throat> but he had to actually rebuild his turbos at something like a hundred and, I don't know, 65 or 80,000 miles or something like that. So it didn't go 400,000 miles either without having to have the turbos rebuilt. So for all you people out there yelling diesels, Depending on how hard you work them, you have to replace them too, because heat, heat is what kills turbos. But also, there's a big difference between diesels and gas burners. And the people leaving these comments, you think would know this. A gas burning V6 twin turbo is probably gonna go 6,000 RPMs or more. A diesel rarely gets over 3,000 RPMs. Big difference in exhaust gas heat in my opinion. I mean, when you're turning faster, that engine's gonna be a little hotter. It's, it's, you're gonna get hotter exhaust gas spinning those turbos, and uh, heat is what kills turbos. So there again, it's gonna be harder on them in a, in a gas-powered vehicle for the most part. Um, but this is sort of what this video is about, but not really. <clears throat> I wanna talk about how you might be able to save the turbos if they decide to go this route. Now, do I think they'll go this route? No. No, I think they'll go another route. If you water cool a turbo, you don't usually have them wear out or break down, the bearings in them break down as quickly. Um, but if you, if they actually have them oil cooled, oil builds up on these turbos and these bearings and stuff like that, hardens, causes sludge and stuff like that, and then it breaks down these bearings and then your turbos go out. From what I understand, if I read that right, I wanted to see what the difference was. And also I would like to say this, there is another way uh, if Toyota decides to do this, if what I read was correct, but we'll get into that in just a minute, so stay tuned for that. But if you go with a water-cooled turbo, they will inherently last longer because they don't get all that buildup and sludge and, and caked on oil and stuff like that, that that breaks those down but if and and i think toyota will go that direction don't get me wrong i think they will but you know a lot of vehicles do the oil cooled turbo so you get all this oil in there like i said it, it hardens now if that is the case if they go with like an oil cooled turbo there is something called a turbo timer that you can put on your vehicle and i had turbo timers on my 300 ZX twin turbo back in the day. And what those are is you just, mine was a manual, so I had to put it in neutral and pull the emergency brake. But I'm assuming in an automatic, <clears throat> you could just put it in park and then cut the vehicle off. And you can set a range of how long you want it to sit there and idle to cool off your turbos. So that makes your turbo turbos cool off slower and doesn't just shut them off all at one time and it helps prolong the life of those. And I don't know how many times I would actually do that and someone would say, hey, you left your car running and I had to explain to them why it was running. It was off, it was locked, but it was allowing the turbos to cool off so it just, just didn't lock them up with all that excess heat, oil and stuff like that and to just bake it on the, the bearings and the turbos. So turbo timers, if they decide to go with the oil cooled system, uh, is probably a good option to have, especially if you're gonna use this truck for like towing and stuff. Towing is gonna heat those turbos up even more, and you're really gonna want something that will allow them to cool off. If, if you decide not to go with a turbo and you've been running that truck hard or you've been towing with it or something like that, you're probably just gonna wanna let sit there and let it idle for four or five minutes once you get to where you're going, and that way, you can actually um, allow those turbos to cool off slowly and it won't have um, as big an impact on just shutting them down totally. Now, back to what I was talking about a minute ago. 
I read that Ford has something in the EcoBoost. I don't know about this totally because I'm not a huge EcoBoost fan, so I didn't really look into it. But I read that Ford actually, when you shut off the truck, allows the water to cool, to like run through the turbos and cool them down for a few minutes after the truck has been shut off. Now, if this is an option, that's great because you don't have to have a turbo timer. You don't have to have anything special. The truck just does it. It just keeps cooling off the turbo slowly um, while the vehicle's been shut off. So if that's the case, you all may know this better than I do, then great. Um, if that's not the case, you know, as long as it's water cooled, you'll probably be all right. But if, it, if they go with an oil cooled system, um, I would look into a turbo timer. That, that's just me. Um, you all can do what you want to. I'm sure Toyota's gonna make a reliable truck, but if you can make it even more reliable by adding something like that, um, I would look into it. Turbos, even maintained properly with turbo coolers or, you know, water cooled system, will go out. They're, it, it's gonna happen. You're not gonna see 500,000 million mile trucks, you know, 500,000 or million mile trucks on stock turbos. It, it's just not gonna happen. Now there are upsides to a turbocharged vehicle and I may do that in the next video. But right now I just want to talk about how to maintain the turbos and maybe how to get a longer life expectancy out of them um, if possible. Now, I don't know a ton about turbo timer systems. Um, I've not really looked into those in years. Um, I don't think they're vehicle specific. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I would assume that you could wire those just into any vehicle. But like I said, depending on how they decide to cool off those turbos and what they use to do that with, will depend on if you wanna go that route or not. But that is a good option if they go with like the oil cooled system because a lot of like big sports cars and high horsepower cars and stuff like that, when people do builds, they use turbo timers on them and there's a reason they do it because nobody wants to replace a four or five, six thousand dollar turbo because those things aren't cheap. And then when you have them installed, if you can't do it yourself, it even gets way more expensive than that. Uh, we don't know what they're going to use. Uh, have no clue about that. Maybe that information will come out soon. I hope it does. I think I think they'll use the water cooled system myself. I, if they do, it would be pretty cool. If the Ford does that, I didn't look into it greatly because I'm just not a huge Ford fan. But if they use something like that, if the people on the forums are right, it'd be even cooler if they if they use something like that. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I've seen some people say, ah, they're gonna get it right and turbo's gonna last forever. And those of you know that's not true and that ain't gonna happen, but let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.